So we right here at the Planet Computers headquarters here in London. Hi. So who are you? Hi there. I'm Janko Mrisik Vogel, CEO and co-founder of Planet Computers. Hi. And Hi, Nicholas. How are uh, you? So this is a busy time right now. Absolutely, very busy day, right? So we've been uh, launched a crowdfunding campaign this morning for the Cosmo Communicator. So this is our new device um, that we announced uh, at 9 a.m. this morning UK time. Because uh, the Gemini PDA, I think it's an awesome device. Uh, I've been using it uh, as my main driver, which people say, you know, I've been using mine every day for the last more than six months. Yeah. Uh, it's very, very stable. Yeah, well, well, thanks. I mean, you know, we, 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 we it, it seems to be okay, you know, uh, not restarting or anything like that. Uh, so we're quite happy with the stability on the device. And, you know, the, as you know, the, the, the Gemini device, it's, uh, it's got a nice PDA keyboard, big, big six inch screen. And uh, on the outside, it's, it's basically built like a PDA, but there is a 4G version, which basically allows it to be also a phone. So you can make calls like this and so on. But, and you, you had know, many sales, right? Uh, so it was a very successful uh, crowdfunding campaign. Um, um, until now, it's around about two and a half million dollars. And, uh, you know, we have something like 7,000 uh, backers on the, on the campaign. Plus, we have the store, so we're selling it in, uh, on our online store at planetcom.co.uk. Uh, so this is this is the uh, this is the Gemini. It's basically built like a pocket computer. It's a PDA that can also uh, double up as a phone. But a lot of people, you know, a lot of our users have said, "Look, we'd really like an outside screen. Uh, we'd really like a backlit keyboard. We'd really like a really good camera on this because we want to use it as our only device. Uh, you know, we want to have a fingerprint sensor. We want to have NFC. We want to do everything that we can do on a smartphone." Because with mine, also for example, really, also really yeah. good camera, you know, and also that you can see who's calling um, on on the outside, so, so some kind of outside screen, so you don't need to open it to make calls. So basically, this is kind of the the main drivers what sort of led us into making the Cosmo, because the Cosmo, you know, it has uh, an outside camera. 24 megapixel. It has an outside uh, display. This is uh, just just a prototype mock-up, right? This is a prototype, uh, very initial prototype, and uh, there are things that are working on it, but it's very very initial. But you can see what it looks like. So basically, you've got the you've got the uh, the new metal compared to the Gemini. You know, you've got the outside screen, you've got the the camera, you've got the special fingerprint toggle. And including sort of an answer and and close call toggle, which can also be used for for other things like zoom, or uh, or. So this is a toggle right here. Yeah, that that's a toggle, and uh, basically that will be able to toggle left and right to answer calls so and so on. So go left, right. Yes. And then just. Touch. And in the middle, there's a there's a fingerprint sensor. That's Does it correct. push in or is just a uh, fixed? On the final version, it will toggle left and toggle right. Physically, um, you can feel yes, it moving. Yes, obviously, you yeah. know. The, the, when, when you when you design things, if you are if you are working on the uh, you know on the prototypes uh, is one thing, and then when you actually finalize, uh, you know things can look a bit different. But basically, the intention is it's toggling left, it's toggling right. It has a fingerprint sensor, and it has two uh, lights that are showing uh, either answer or close, so you can see which two LEDs. Which uh, two, two lights, two some lights, kind of lights, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there will and be then, a two-inch... Uh, so there's basically an outside screen. Uh, you can see it here, it's actually. Right it's, it's, it's not active, but it's there inside yeah. the prototype. So you can see uh, the the display. Uh, and this is a touch screen, so you'll be able to, to dial numbers, you'll be able to select people and also do DTMF calls. So if you're, let's say, I don't know, need to pay for parking, and you don't need to like type in the last, punch in the last four digits of your credit card or uh, anything like that. And of course, there'll be a flash uh, and a 24 megapixel camera. Nice right? camera? Nice camera, yes, that's the idea. The idea is that, you know, this is a great PDA, but this is a great phone, uh, a great pocket computer, and a great camera. So that's the plan, right? So you can basically replace your laptop and your smartphone just with one of these. And then it's going to have the nice, awesome uh, six-inch display and also a backlit keyboard. 
Yeah, so there's a buckle cable. So we've been working on some prototypes, and uh, these are these are very very early prototypes. But you can see, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna light up the keyboard so you can see. You know, we've been working on some prototypes. It's it nice. by no means final. Yeah, you didn't but, place the, all the, the lighting in the right. Yeah, area. it's it's very very early, but you can see. You know, we've been working on how to do it, and we're going to basically be improving on that. So nice. Because that's uh, that's uh, so there's there was four, three, or four or five top requests. So it was second display. So the, yeah, the top four requests are uh, external display, backlit camera. Uh, there's there's basically uh, uh, being able to have an external display, backlit camera, twenty. So so uh, backlit. Back facing. Yeah. Sorry, external display, backlit camera. Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, ba backlit ba keyboard. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat that. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, external display, uh, a very good camera on the outside. Uh, there's obviously an inside camera as well. Uh, backlit keyboard and the fingerprint sensor for security. So those were nice. kind of the top four. And we've also added some other things such as NFC for payment, which was uh, nice. also something you know people will Where's request. Where's going to be the NFC? It will be it will be on the front, so you see this part is this part is plastic, this part is metal, but this part is plastic, so there can be a lot of space because you need a you need a large amount of space for the NFC uh, aerial. So basically, so it will be on the front, so you can either pay by touching like this, or you can pay by touching like this. Nice. Yeah, so there, there there are different ways of doing that, and you'll get some haptic feedback when that happens. So you can use it as a oyster card, maybe. Yes, we've already had some requests today about uh, having the Felica card and also uh, the same kind of card like Oyster in, in Japan to, to be working. I wonder if there's like an Android other. app where you can just load any kind of so, uh, our NFC kind of thing and it just loads it in and then you can so use yes, them all. So in this is an emulation of actually of, the, um, of some of the other protocols that are used for travel. So, um, so yes, it's possible. Uh, but we have to. We cannot confirm yet, yeah. so we need to see. Um, so this is, you know, you're you're probably the first to see the the prototype, like in nice. in uh, in real life. So we're so now in November. Outside the company, so November. We're the November. is in full crazy swing. It so started this morning. First of all, uh, both uh, David and I, I would like to say a great thank you to uh, backers of the Cosmo because we started the campaign this morning. And we were already reaching about three hundred thousand so dollars on many the hours campaign. Uh, so we basically crossed our target, which is two hundred thousand for the initial target on the Indiegogo. So we're um, we're very excited and really thankful that it's such a, a great um, take up, and that uh, you know people seem to really enjoy the new device. Can we refresh? So, uh, so let's try and do a refresh on that. I don't know where we are now. But we'll see uh, on the. So we're now on uh, 299. So yeah. they're close to 300. In 30 seconds, they'll be over 300. So, you know, so <laughs> it's really, um, you know, it's a really, really, we reached our target in something like four or five hours, which is pretty amazing. When we did the Gemini, um, we reached the, the same target. Um, probably took us three days, two and a half days to reach the target. Well, uh, so order it's a of phenomenal. Bigger, maybe. It's a phenomenal. Uh, it's a phenomenal response today. Uh, we're so excited and really, uh, um, uh, really amazed at the uh, at the take up. So there's now media. You can say something as well on on that. Is well, there media and people talking about it? Yes, there are. And I wanted to uh, discuss about something else, which is the fact that, of course, we have a new device. But we are also, so part of the company is busy on the new device, part of the company is busy on the old device. So we are still uh, supporting the device. Um, in fact, actually, this, uh, this version here runs uh, uh, one of the pre-production Android 8 version. So if I go to system and uh, somewhere about, you can see 8.1.0 with very, very uh, latest security patches. So. Uh, there is a lot of work behind the scenes. We are working on the uh, next Android version. We are um, cooperating with Yola. Uh, Yola is about to release um, their Sailfish version 3. Uh, that version will also be um, running on the Gemini and, and so on. So a lot of work behind the scenes, both on the new and the old uh, and, and the current device. Sailfish are good partners. 
of you, right? The, Absolutely. You working with to them? us makes uh, makes perfect sense because um, I personally I believe have um, a very interesting proposition which uh, I believe is really enriched by having a keyboard because that's a kind of more serious uh, operating system and having a keyboard on that makes really a lot of sense because you can exploit really the, the software and the hardware together. Selfish claims to be running full Linux apps, right? Correct. So like uh, uh, you can run big apps. Yes, yes. Advanced apps. Yes, yeah, that's true. Uh, we yeah. can. You, you can also do with that with uh, with Linux, uh, with with the Debian, for example, and other uh, flavors. Um, it's just um, it just they have a very very beautiful user interface, which is um, really taught for uh, mobile devices. So, so that's si very since nice. we did the last video, it was a little bit more than six months ago. Uh, there there has been some uh, open source community uh, involvement with your company, right? Absolutely. So. Um, you know, when we started with the with this device, with the current one, uh, we didn't have um, at the very beginning uh, open source community together with us. So, the Linux side sort of suffered a little bit and uh, took a little bit of time to uh, to align with the un with the Android version. Uh, but now that we have a community, uh, that's something we would like to hopefully to solve. So we hope to see for the next version for the, for the Cosmo Communicator. We hope to see. Uh, the Linux release being really aligned with the Android from day one. That would be so cool. It's a different chipset, but still, if there's stuff happening with the new one, it could maybe also backport to the old one, right? I mean, uh, to the Gemini PDA. Yes. Whatever uh, happens on Cosmo potentially is more or less easily also on the Gemini yes. PDA. Yes, and also as well, we had um, you know much more um, experience on this, and you know, for us, it's a second device, so it's 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 much different. In in a way, it's much easier because we've already been there for many many things. Yeah. So, Nicola, I mean, we just quick quick uh, quick mention. You know, we the Gemini is here to stay. So, um, you know, the Cosmo, is, we're extending the range of devices to the Cosmo, right? So, we are adding a, a higher tier device. So, there'll be the Gemini Wi-Fi. There'll be the Gemini 4G and Wi-Fi, and then there'll be the Cosmo uh, communicator, because uh, really this is kind of more entering the smartphone, the smartphone side, whereas the, uh, the Gemini uh, are supposed to be more like PDAs, PDAs that have mobile capability, that have mobile communication, but they're really PDAs, and, and the, the, the Cosmo uh, range will be more sort of like phones that, yes, they have a keyboard, uh, they do open up, but more okay. like communicators than uh, than uh, PDAs. Right? Everybody so. I show my Gemini PDA to, everybody's just like mind blowing. Like, what is that? It's like a constant thing. Yeah. And I guess you've been having a lot of fun. I guess in the last year, no matter what you do, no matter who you stop in the street, you show your Gemini PDA, and people are like, what? And you say, that's mine. I did this. So you know, right? even even if you have headphones on, people will tap you on the shoulder and say like, hey, what's that? Where, where can so, I buy one? Don't so people so say what this? is it? What is it? And and so on. So there's a lot of interest, and uh, you know, it, it's it, it it is it is pretty uh, yeah. yeah, it's it's pretty good like that. You, and I and I think this will be even more intriguing yeah. for people. So can, can you open it and, and just to show that uh, there's some some slight difference in the in the hinge. So there's a lot of difference, actually. Uh, the, so don't forget, this is all pre-production, yeah. but uh, the, the hinge is actually thicker, so it will be much more steady. The, the hinge is a different shape. So if you see on the, on the Gemini, uh, yes. I'll open the hinge. You have a, 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 a straight yeah. piece here. Let's try to yeah. the right so here. So basically, so, uh, yeah. the, hinge, the hinge is different. But don't forget, this is still pre-production. Yeah. So basically, the hinge is actually thicker. And uh, also the the support is slightly different, so uh, it will be uh, much more stable, much more stable. But I think this is amazingly stable. I ha you know I've been using it constantly; it doesn't break. Yeah, it's uh, it's I, I it's. Was, in the beginning, I was maybe a little bit afraid because I'm thinking, are, they, are you going to be able to make something that's stable? And you have. So you know, you know I, I've had this is still an X25. So uh, yes, we have the gold covers here. But this is still sort of my X25 unit, which I had from the start, and it's still there and it still works. So I'm very happy with it, which means that you know it's been essentially there since January, like 2000, uh, the January this year. So basically, we're now we're now November. So 
roughly 11 months, right? So uh, 10 months and a bit. So did you say 7,000 or 7,500 crowdfunding and maybe extra? So is it more than 10,000 in the first one or what do you say? So we're now, uh, we're now manufacturing, the, the, with the current manufacturing, we're now on 9,500 units uh, produced. Of on Jiminy the, on PDA? The, on the Gemini, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of, which, of which about 1,000, maybe a th between 1,000, 1,300 are Wi-Fi. The rest are all 4G. And do you say anything about uh, customer satisfaction on those 9,500 customers? Uh, well, there's a lot of feedback, and I think uh, generalizing, I think uh, people really love their uh, Gemini, and I think, uh, you know, um, certainly it's, it's one of those things that uh, it's a device that really grows on you, and I think that's really quite interesting that it's going to grow grows on you as you use it. And... Um, a lot of a lot of those nine thousand five hundred are using it as their main phone. Yes, and I think you know. That so there's people using it as the secondary device, people using it as their main phone. Uh, there are different uses, uh, but I think I think most of the users are finding it useful, and I think that's that's the most important. It's kind of part of their daily life, and uh, you know, it's it's really um, today's you know today's mobile communication is changing so it's not just about phone calls as it was maybe 10 years ago it's a lot about apps and then the apps are all about touch screen use and swiping maybe selecting things but then there's a lot of communication apps like whatsapp wechat line uh, skype and you know messenger applications etc and for those the keyboard is extremely useful because it's not uh, you know, when you're in a, you know, a lot of a lot of the chatting is with with text. So, having a good keyboard uh, is now becoming even more essential than it was when the PDAs were big in the 90s. So this is why I think we're kind of really kind of trying to you know expand this genre of device. And if you're looking at, you know, the communications really really changing. But we understand, and that's what the feedback was, you know okay, let's be able to do calls on this. Let's be able to take good photos on this because the original Gemini doesn't really have a f camera. There is an add-on. Yeah, I do everything with a selfie camera. Yeah, it's there, a little yeah, bit so limited. Exactly, you've got to like, walk backwards. And, and, and you know, this is why we want to like, uh, you know, uh, basically make it, make it simpler to do. And, so when, and how would you take camera. a camera with keeping it closed? How would you take so a picture? So you will select, so basically for, if you want to, start recording video or taking a selfie you can do it by basically using the touch screen and then essentially uh, pressing a button or setting a timer but uh, this is kind of the idea we might change some of that but essentially also to record sound or to record video you don't necessarily need to open the unit right uh, as well as that the toggle which you can use for answering the call can be used for the, the camera zoom so, uh, so there's some and, 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 and other things like volume control, but essentially you'll be using the touch screen to, to start off the camera and then uh, basically you can use the, either the side button or there'll be a control. And too. you can use the 24 megapixel as a selfie because maybe you can use yes. this and screen to see to, what you're doing. And you don't need to unlock the phone to take a photo. You don't need to unlock the phone because essentially the information is going into the phone, not out of the phone. So you're you're basically not uh, giving out any secure information. So even if you have your security on, that, that's going to be fine. But as I said, whatever I say in this video, really is all preliminary stuff that we're thinking about because you know now the work really starts. Uh, so it's all subject to change. You What's know? your preliminary idea for the the UI and the kind of like a system on that? So two the, inch screen. The the UI basically the key our, our key thing there is to support phone calls. And by that I mean uh, making phone calls and taking phone calls. So taking phone calls is answering, uh, but also making phone calls means essentially three things: either dialing a number, selecting a contact, or doing DTMF tones, dial, dialing tones for things like payment of, I don't know, parking or something else like that, right? So uh, it's very important to be able to have the, uh, the, the dial pad on there as well. Uh, and then things like starting recordings, looking at your notifications, 
but really when there's something uh, more uh, laborious to do, then really, you know, you'll be instructed or suggested to open up the unit um, and, and start, um, you know, and start the real work.